is Louise with Louise McKay Art, and I'm back for round two of my Asheville location painting journey. Um, you might hear some sounds in the background. The contractors are getting the mailbox in the ground, so there's a little bit of drilling happening, but guess what's not happening? Do you hear that? There's no school behind the house. <laughs> this is the no school district here. <laughs> So what I have planned today, um, and by the way, welcome everybody. I have a very simple thing planned today. I want to make a trivet for the kitchen. And this is one of the primary colors in our backsplash is this sagey uh, green gray color. So I'm gonna be using uh, these colors and um, I'm gonna be using some recycled off-white paint. So what I've got here, like I say, this is my scraps. That's my consistency. Kind of leaves a little mound and then flows right back in. This is my homemade sage color, which is a combination of mystical green by Modern Masters and uh, Art Lines gunmetal and some golden tit titan green. So that's how that looks. This is my iridescent bronze, and I also added to this golden iridescent bronze some uh, Deco Arts Rich Espresso. And this is Deco Arts Obsidian, with also Deco Arts Unch um, Enchanted Ultra Black. So these are all my metallics. This is 24 karat gold, but I also added some Enchanted Shimmer Gold because I wanted to hopefully tone down the 24 karat gold a little bit. And this is my one non-metallic, which is my quinacridone Glazo gold with some burnt sienna in here by Golden. So that's my color palette. Here's my tile. I plan on using this as my open cup. Pop it down and then we'll get the colors in. We'll spin it out. We'll see what we get. If it works, then I'll be resining it and it'll look really pretty in the kitchen. So we'll see. Anyway, um, it's really interesting being here because it's so different. The environment is very different. The water is different. The altitude is different. Everything is different. So I'm really curious how things are going to work as I continue to push forward while making other, making paintings. Um, that's why I'm starting with things that I consider to be a little more on the easier side. And uh, we'll broaden out from there. But I already have a couple orders for some tile coasters from some friends that live on the East Coast, so I need to get back to the bloom recipe. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm gonna try to make a couple things here. So anyway, I'll get you down in a second, as soon as I clear off my space. All right, so I'm gonna start somewhere near the middle. I'm not gonna coat this thing, this tile. I'm just gonna lay down some color, base color. Mm. Maybe a little more. Yeah, I, I carted this across the country. Whatever's in here, I don't know what's in here. It's 22 miles old. Okay, so here's my cup. Let's drop it in here. All right. Sometimes I coat the edges, sometimes I don't. But let's go ahead and give it a little coating. Okay, so my colors, let's start with the bronze. Now, in the open cup, all you're doing is you're pouring colors into the cup at different heights and hope that you get some good cell activity. And having metallics, that's definitely a bonus. So let's go with the gold. So everyone, I'm going to pick up the pace here and double time. You can see the colors I'm laying down, and I'll have the colors in the description box below if you want to see the exact formula and the specific color combination I used. I will point out, though, that as I'm adding my colors, I am doing them sometimes at different heights and making it more of a dirty pour, and that helps churn the colors together a little bit and hopefully will yield some cells in the end. 
and then I'm just adding a little more uh, flow paint base paint around it so the open cup has somewhere to flow to and as I go I assist the cup just by twisting it a little bit and moving it in a certain direction and then I go ahead and add more color trying to be aware to alternate a lighter color with a darker color just for contrast And since that sagey green color is the star, I am adding more of that every time I do add that color because I want it to be more prevalent in the final result. So here I add a little bit of the base coat to break up the colors and hopefully have a little bit of negative space within the piece. So here I'm getting near the end and I just want to find a good place to spin off the open cup. I end up going back toward the middle as you can see. So I have to add here, now that I just finished with the open cup portion, uh, my camera shut off because I got a phone call and it just automatically shut my camera off. So I'm going to be skipping quickly ahead from this to almost the final result, and I apologize. But basically all I've done here is add more flow paint around the edges and spun it out very, very gently this time. I mean so gently that the only flow paint really fell onto the spinner, and that's about it. So in between where the camera cut off, I'm going to add a couple pictures of white squirrels in our neighborhood, which are really cool. Yes, this is a real live squirrel. Unfortunately, I didn't get a video of him. Okay, hey everybody, I don't know where I lost you. I guess I'll figure that out in a minute. I got a phone call and then I lost everything, but this is where it is. I love this. It is beautiful, beautiful. It is so pretty. I don't know if you saw, I did a couple little embellishments and that's it. But I don't need to touch this thing again. Oh, I'm really happy with this. Oh, I hope you didn't miss that much. Anyway, thanks for tuning <laughs> in for maybe the abbreviated version. Um, let me give it a quick torch to get any last minute air bubbles out of there. Oh. I can't believe the camera shut off. Well, this may very well be my shortest video. what it is it's gorgeous I love it I love it all right I'm gonna clean up and I'll get a still shot or a flyover in a second 
I just love how this turned out to go in my kitchen as a trivet. And so that is the star color, that sagey green that actually, as it dried, became more prevalent, which is great. I love it right in there, the little island wisps. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's nearly dry. So pretty.